holy children in the world, why do you doubt me and my love for you? Why do you block your blessings by trying to go your own way, by not believing in my love for you, by not trusting in the process of my grace and my timing? I am here for you, dear children, in all ways, and I love you with a love beyond your imaginings. Yet so many of you remain blind to me. So many of you do not even acknowledge me in your days. Many of you do not come to me for your needs. You do not pray to me on a daily basis. You do not have faith in your actions, but only in your words. Wake up before it is too late, dear ones. Do not allow the world to fill your souls. Do not allow the things of the world to take you from me and my never-ending love for you. Do you not see how the devil wants to distract you from me? He wants you to take the path that leads to death. He wants to direct your steps away from me. The world is full of evil, dear children. The world is full of mischief and strife. You who follow me should be separate from the ways of the world. Do not be as those who do not know me. Do not be heartless and without love. Do not hoard your wealth and not help those in need. Do not place yourselves above others, thinking yourselves better than those who are struggling, those who seem to have so much less than you. How do you know the heart of another soul? Do you really think that someone without wealth is less than you? That just because someone does not have material possessions, they are less than you? Wake up, dear children. Get out of the safe bubble you have created for yourselves and look out into the world around you. See with the eyes of the Spirit. See into the heart of those you deem less than you. See the truth behind the world's lies. All are equal in my sight, dear children. But only those who truly love me, who take up their cross and follow me, who give to the poor and needy, who love with a pure heart and honest intentions, will enter into the kingdom of heaven. You cannot fool me, dear ones. You cannot pretend to be in me, yet act in a way that is against my teachings. I know you to the very depths of your hearts. I see all. I feel all. I feel all you feel. Nothing is hidden from me or from our Father in heaven. Yet many of you seem to think you can fool me as you fool the world around you. You speak words of love, whilst in your hearts, hatred and envy lie. You speak my name frequently, shouting out your prayers in the marketplace for all to hear, yet you do not obey my commands. Remember, dear children, that whatever you do to any who belong to me, you also do to me. And whatever you withhold from any in need, you also withhold from me. I am not interested in shallow actions and heartless prayers. I am interested in the truth, my children. I am interested in love and grace and mercy. The same love and grace and mercy that I show to you, that our Father offered to you when he gave me to you to die on your behalf. Do not give me platitudes when I long for sincerity. Don't offer me words without meaning. Don't offer me hearts that aren't filled with love. I want you to come to me, my children. I want you to surrender to me with an honest and contrite heart. I want to see you bear your souls to me. Lay down all you have before me so I can teach you my ways and guide you in all you should do. Do not be fooled by false preachers and fake promises. The world is corrupt in all ways. It is full of opportunistic souls who make a mockery of my ways and teachings. Beware the wolf in sheep's clothing, dear ones. Beware those who speak of peace, but in their hearts lie deceptions. 
the end is drawing nigh. The evil one rises up to take as many souls as possible to the pits of hell. If you are living in falsehood, then you will be found out. You will be exposed and made to face the consequences of your actions. Do not be foolish as the darkness of the abyss covers your earth. Do not be fooled as the evil one rises up in the guise of good, promising you all things, showing you great and marvellous things that will astound your minds. Don't be fooled as signs and wonders manifest before you, and you are asked to follow the world into the darkness that is disguised as the light. Remember, dear children, that my words alone stand true, that I am the way, the truth, and the life, and that none other can offer you salvation. None other can bring you before the Father, forgiven of all your sins and washed in my precious blood. Great deception is arising before your very eyes, dear children. Great trickery is at foot, and many who claim to love me will be fooled and led astray. Do not be as the lost ones. Do not allow yourselves to be blinded by the devil, to be romanced by him into a sense of complacency. Read my holy words of old and dwell on the message that lies within. Surrender your whole selves to me, heart and soul. Do not give up the good fight. Do not allow the foolish things of the world to blind you to the truth. I am watching you, dear children. I am watching all you do. All you say and how you act. I know when you act according to my words and I know when you are full of falsehood and lies. I know all, dear children. I see all and I will reward you accordingly on the final day of judgment. I will separate the wheat from the chaff, the sheep from the goats. I know who is mine and who has been pretending to be. I will look upon your lives in the flesh and you will be held accountable for every word spoken, for everything you have done during your time upon the earth. The day of judgment is coming, dear children. This is a fact that every soul must one day face. You will be judged accordingly on that great and fearful day. And those who are in me, who have done my will and the will of the Father, will be rewarded accordingly. But beware all who carry falsehood in their hearts. All who have withheld from others for their own gain, who have allowed the needy to go cold and hungry, who have turned a blind eye to the truth and gone their own way. For I will not know such as you on the day of judgment. I will turn from you, as you have turned from those I have placed before you in the world from those who needed you, but from whom you turned away. Heed my warning, dear children. Love with pure hearts. Walk in the world with my light shining from your souls. Place compassion and mercy before you. Care for those around you. Help the needy. Lift each other up in prayer, with goodness and kindness always in the forefront of your minds and your heart. Give with a great generosity to all in need and always remember, my children, that when you entertain strangers, you could be entertaining angels, for they walk among you, obey my commands, and lifting you up lest you strike your foot against the stone. This is the word of the Lord your God, who lives and abides forever. Amen. Oh, my Lord, how I love you, how I adore your holy ways. Please guide us into all truth, my Lord. Please teach us your ways and never leave us or forsake us. I am your humble servant, my Lord. My life is laid down before you. My soul is open and bare before your great and awesome glory. Without you, I am nothing. I do not exist without your love. I have nothing, I am nothing without you. You are my guiding light, 
the joy of my heart and the light in my soul. With every breath I take, I will praise your holy name. From the depth of my innermost being, I will worship you. From now to the end of eternity, I am your humble and adoring servant. Blessings and honor to you, my holy Lord Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Holy child, I adore you. You who do my will upon the lands. You who love with an honest heart, without falsehood or pretense. Be at peace, my child. Do not allow anxiety to overwhelm you. Trust in me always. Know that I am forever by your side, guiding you, loving you, and teaching you all things. My word is your sword and buckler. My peace reigns in your heart. My grace is your joy and your great reward. Forever I will love you. Forever I will call you my own. Forever, my child, I will keep you safe in the palm of my hand. I love you, dear child. Do not fear. Do not allow the things of the world to overwhelm you. I am watching all you do. And soon all things will work towards you and my favour will blossom in your life. I love you, dear child. Now and forevermore your Holy Lord Jesus. Amen.